Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Ladies Listen Up. What is our relationship with money? Hmm, wow, that's a mouthful, right? Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share this information with somebody else. Share this information with one of your girlfriends. You know, maybe even start a financial sister girl circle, or maybe a subsidiary or a sister company of um, the smart money circle. You know, however we have to get this information out, it's time for us to take control of our money, especially with us, you know, going into or actually being in a mini recession right now. We really, really need to pay attention to our money. I know we've all felt the pinches at the pump. We're all feeling the pinches at the grocery store for sure, you know, and so it's really time for us to take a really deep dive into our finances and find out what are the what are the vehicles available to help us to listen, learn, and leverage, right? We listen to the information, we grab our notebooks, take the notes, we study. That means we listen, we learn, and then we leverage. Leveraging the information means that maybe you have some type of fear about finances or maybe you weren't taught about finances, like you know, like like I wasn't really taught about finances, but you know, on today's episode, we are or today's workshop, we are going to talk about, and I don't have the cookie jar in front of me today. Hold on, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab the cookie jar. Hold on, hold on. Don't go away. Don't go away. It's never too far. Never too far. We need the cookie jar. Grandma's cookie jar, right? Grandma's cookie jar secret. Hmm. What are we going to talk about today? Really wanted to talk about, yeah, I'm going to actually cheat today and pull out the cookie that I want to talk about. <laughs> I want to talk about crypto hedge funds, right? For those of you that don't know what the cookie jar secret is, go back and look at the other episodes. But we pull out nuggets every day and we start talking about grandma's cookie jar. Grandma had some great secrets in her cookie jar, right? She had she she was stash money away or she had mattress money hidden away somewhere, but she had secrets to help the household to run smoothly, even if she was just you know, as they say, balling on a budget, but even if she was just making things happen or making things meet on a budget. So grandma had a lot of secrets in her cookie jar. And oftentimes those secrets don't get passed on to the next generation. So let's fill in the gap. Let's just start to understand, listen, learn, and leverage, right? Some of the information and let's do better with our finances. All right, so we want to talk a little bit about, you know, we want, uh, in this playlist, we talk about, you know, about all of the different ways to diversify your assets. And so in order to do that, we're learning about asset classes, okay? So we're going to talk about one of the investment vehicles in our in our diverse portfolio, if you will. And it is a vehicle where you can park your money. That means you can sit your money there, and then you can have your money to work as hard for you as you work to obtain the money that you bring in, right? So Let's talk about a hedge fund. What is a hedge fund? A hedge fund is it's, it's where financial partners pool monies together and employ different strategies to earn active returns for their investors, okay? And so let's break that down a little bit simpler. Sort of like I would say I would say crowdfunding, but in this, it's not more so giving. It's pooling all of our funds together. Like we put them all together. And then they're pooled, they're, they're put on the market, like maybe the uh, currency exchange, um, forex markets, you know, they're all pooled together. And then they bring us back a return and we share those returns. And it's as simple as that. Whereas sometimes things seem complicated and we build up a fear because we feel like that's a little bit more than I can understand. Um, I always go back to Lisa Nichols, who went to a financial seminar. I believe it was 41 times, but she went until she could understand, you know, um, she could understand how pu companies are public traded. She wanted to understand about returns on investment, and she didn't have anybody to teach her that. So she went and she was, you know, went and got immersed into a community where she could learn. And that's just a wonderful example of not being, not being afraid of what we don't know. But going to find out and opening up a whole world of information that we just may not be privileged to. Okay. So again, when you pull your funds together into one pot and you go and you get an investment and then you, I mean, you go and get um, invested to get a return 
and then you bring that money back and then you split the pot. And then if you're smart, you put it back in and you just continuously do this over and over again. And that helps you to get a better return on your investments. We can all do better or do more together. So let's talk about that push. Like I said, I got up this morning and I did not want to, I didn't want to push through. I didn't want to work out. I didn't want to, uh, I just didn't want to. I didn't feel like it. And guess what? Feeling like doing it versus being committed to doing it. What is the difference? Feeling is a feeling. Like I didn't want to do it. So if I had stayed in the bed and not did it, then after the workout, I was drenched in sweat. But guess what? I felt so much better that I actually pushed through. And was it grueling? Yes, it was. I kept looking at the clock and it seemed like it wasn't moving. But when I took my mind off of what I was doing and just really got into the dance and to the workout, I felt so much better. So it's that push, even when you don't feel like it, do it anyhow. Just like you talk about, you know, a penny double a day. You know, if you take a, I want to say the penny double, but also I would love to talk about the bucket, the bucket of water. So if you like just drop a drop some water in a bucket, it's really, you know, you're like, okay, so I dropped the bucket, it's no, nothing in there. But you keep dropping that one drop, one drop, one drop, one drop into that bucket before you know it, it's overflowing. So the same thing when we're talking about increasing our financial knowledge on what are the vehicles available for me to actually make a difference in my finances and actually maybe even a bigger vision is to create some generational wealth in your family. My and my cousin, I have a cousin, they call us twins because our energy is similar. And what we made a pact with each other that we were going to go out here and we were going to find information, find vehicles, find platforms that we could help to change the face of our family. We wanted to make a difference. We wanted to make sure that we were the last generation that oppression and poverty actually touched. And he and I locked arms and we started to just go and learn and understand different things. And I'm saying that's available to you as well. So I'm going to bring tons of information, other expert, industry experts on to help you to understand how simple this does not have to be difficult. So I didn't sit here and prepare this long goal, you know, all these long goal bullet points for you or anything. I just wanted you to take one bite at a time, one step at a time. And first, what have we talked about thus far? We've talked about the mindset. We talked about how do we overcome the mindset of lack, okay? How do we switch over to the mindset of abundance, right? And it's by us taking our first step, organizing ourselves, giving ourselves, you know, these videos won't be more than maybe 15, maybe 20 minutes at most. Um, and maybe when we have a guest, it might be 30. But putting aside at least 30 minutes a day to say, look, I'm going to change my financial uh, DNA. I'm going to change it and I'm going to start right now. And you start by writing it down. So anybody that I work with, I always tell you, I have a dedicated notebook and a pen and dedicate this time, this space, this effort to moving forward. And it just takes one step at a time. What do we tell our babies? Take baby steps. <laughs> tell our babies take one step at a time. So that's all I wanted to uh, bring you really quick today. But we're going to bring you some strategies and some tools that are going to help you to create a better financial future, financial, some financial stability for yourself. Alrighty, I am excited to bring you this information. I am so excited about this new this new uh, playlist that we put together, and I hope you will enjoy it, find it entertaining, you know. But I definitely hope that you will grab some of the tips and tools to help you create a smart money circle for yourself, or join our smart money circle. The information will be down in the description box, and we will help you to create that um, excuse me that diverse asset. Uh, Asset diversification portfolio, whatever you want to call it, we're going to help you to create it. All righty. Thanks for watching, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. See, you don't have to have it all together. You don't have to be perfect with it. You just have to do something about what you don't like. All righty. Bye for now.